Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome again for another great afternoon, another great Zoomina lecture. And today we are very honored to have a great professional couple. All of you know for sure Valerio and Monica. So please, we're clapping for you. I'm not sure if you can hear us, but welcome Valerio and Monica. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please, everybody, enjoy it. Grazie, thank you. Thank you so much. Ciao, hello to everyone from Italy. And good afternoon and welcome to our lecture. So first of all, before they start, I know that you, you can't hear me, but uh, I we really hope that uh, all of you guys are good, your family, your friends, and all the people close to you are very well in this, in this difficult period. We really feel now that it's a long, long, long night. So we can only hope that uh, this period finish as soon as possible, and finally we will come back uh, in our normal life, in our beautiful world. So before we start, we want to say thanks very much to the WDC for inviting us today. For us, uh, as you know, it's always a pleasure to do a lecture, but especially in this moment, uh, it's even more than a pleasure, because somehow we still feel uh, connected to all of you, even if we are behind the computer screen, or in this case, it's iPad screen. <laughs> so, uh, the theme of the lecture of today, they, they kindly asked us to do it, is uh, how to create uh, a personality in a ballroom dance. Honestly, when we knew, when I knew this, the theme, the subject of today, Immediately, my first reaction, I said to Monica, oh, this is will be an easy lecture. You know, personality, the word personality can be some obvious words. But when, you know, when we start to talk and when we start to sit together, to drink a coffee, to understand the, and to see what we have to do today in the lecture, we discovered that uh, behind this word, there is uh, a many aspect that we need to consider many subjects, many ideas that we need to be aware of it. The first question that she put to me honestly, the first question is, uh, what is personality? And I'm sure that uh, behind the screen, the majority of you ask this moment to yourself, what is personality? Well, personality, if we have to say in a very easy, very easy idea, Personality, we can consider that the personality is the characteristic factors of thought, feeling and behavior that make us a unique person. The personality, I think, is something that is uh, behind ourselves to react, that make us to react in a different situation, in a different way, in your, in your way, in our way. For sure, the personality is something unique. My personality is different from Monica's personality. Monica's personality is different, uh, I saw before Carol, of Carol's personality. So in Italy we say the word is beautiful because it's various, because it's different. And in this case, in personality, if we related this one personality in a ballroom or in Latin, the dance is fabulous because you can see a different personality on the floor. The personality can come from, uh, let's say, genetic sides. My mother and my father, my grandmother and my grandfather pass me, give me something of their personality. Same thinking for the mother and father of Monica, same thinking for all of us. Or we can bring personality, we can develop personality in the relationship of uh, the situation where we are. So the good point and the fabulous point of the personality is that uh, we are, all of us are unique and we need to show on the floor, we need to be able to perform on the floor to see a different personality. As a competitor, I feel that when you arrive at a certain level, you have the top three, top six, top 12, top 24, whatever, when we speak about the high level, I feel that uh, the personality is an extra boost, is something that can give you more, can make, uh, uh, maybe you can take one position, just the idea, one position or two positions more 
or the people remember you. You can make the difference. So it's become it's an extra boost, aware of that you can feel it, that your performance going in a different way, in a better way. Of course, when, when Valeria said, <laughs> no, but when Valeria said about how to create personality, there is a, a different way to create it because as a dancer, we are not talking about normal life. When so you say personality, there is your personal personality that is natural, so it's how you grow up, so naturally you um, create your aptitude to certain situation, some reaction to certain situation, but as an artist, personality, it doesn't come out only because your personality is like that, but you have to create. Somehow, uh, I was speaking to uh, some friends that are dancers and because of this lecture, so it comes out to a nice point. And one point was personality sometimes for artists is like a mask that you put on, even in the situation that is not normal. For example, how many of us have a bad day and then they have to compete? Or it doesn't maybe you do Most want. Like <laughs> Most of the days like that. <laughs> but you know, it's a little bit like it doesn't matter what's happening in your life, maybe instinctively you will have a certain reaction, but when you have to compete or to perform, you have to put a feeling or an emotion or um, any kind of energy that is not in you in that moment. So we have to find a way to produce uh, what we want that people see. So somehow we have to learn, we have to practice this. And there are different ways of doing it. Because some people are more emotional orientated, so they feel a little bit more the uh, general emotion in life and in dancing. And there is who is more technical orientated, musically orientated. So there are different ways to achieve the same goal. <laughs> yeah. Here you, can, you have a nice example of emotionally, uh, emotionally orientated and technical physical orientation. So this is, I think, is a nice point because you can achieve in two completely different ways the same goal. Now, what, what, is, what we talk about personality is not, we are not judging what is good and what is bad. Whatever we're going to say is not about good and bad, because personality is subjective. What you like is subjective. What you choose to express is subjective. So every time you have to understand that it's not about how much you do something, but how much you like it. So let's start with this. Emotionally, when we talk about emotion, we have to try to reproduce a feeling that we already felt it. It's not something completely fake. To copy somebody, it doesn't mean you feel this feeling. So that's why you can see completely different. When you see a couple that does, maybe you see a girl or boy that copies somebody, you see when it's fake, you feel it when it's fake. You say, hmm, something, you know, something I don't like. Sometimes you don't even know and you cannot explain. But this is about the energy. Okay, that's good, but well, it's always that but it's, that is never told you, but somehow exactly. is what we're going to say at this moment. Exactly, because as we said before, it makes a difference. Technically, we can be all technically the same, but what make, makes the difference is how you do it, how you create your own way or how you put yourself, you know how many times you say, you have to think a little bit of yourself in your choreography, how? So that's the question of, how can I do it? Emotionally, there are things that you can explain, like a story. So there are people that say, okay, I would like to create a romantic story. So in this case, it can be words. So romantic story between a boy and girl, or a man and lady, and then there is this kindness, and then 
uh, we go apart and then we have to see each other again. There is a way of doing this. You can create a tango, passionate, sensual, aggressive, angry. You can put all together and create a story. So that, that story helps you to create certain feelings to express yourself. So you have just to choose which one comes out or not. It's a choice. Then you have this kind of situation. You can see it because your body is talking. Body language says a lot. If we stay like in a lecture, like our body is talking. So the energy or the personality. I don't want to know, want to know what you think in this moment. <laughs> The personality comes up. If I start to talk like that, so the tone, the body language is straight, is strong, is aggressive, I choose to do this, or I choose to be quiet, nice, slow talking, slow movement of the hands. This is another kind of, another way. So it creates the personality if you don't feel it. So somehow you can choose the feeling also by the speed of your body, of one part of the body, you choose the feeling. It doesn't matter what you do, even only taking position. So for example, the first look that you have, the first impression that you have of a personality is how you walk on the floor, how you hold your girl and how you take position and you invite your girl. Same for the lady, how the girl approach the man. So this is already the first one. Sorry, sorry if it's not interrupted. Yeah. I remember uh, when I was kids, when I was young, no, it's young, and uh, I see the big champion of the past dancing. My first impression, uh, you know, when the champion, when the top couple enter the floor, around them, there is a kind of area. It's, it's difficult to, to explain. You will see the, the good couple immediately. And I remember I was sitting on the first row of the UK competition, I think, many years ago when I was still first year of Amato. And I remember when the professional entry and they saw them, and they saw them, then they entry, I was already, I don't know, I had the feeling yeah, to look immediately at the good couple because when they entry, they were even in the way of walking. Yeah, they was so completely sure of what they do it. So you can feel it immediately. Over it, they're walking. And believe me, normally, I didn't never pay attention about this. Walking, I mean, is walking. But when they enter on the floor, you can see immediately from that moment, from the first step on the floor, that is the couple. That is one doing couple. So the first impression is that one, is immediately. About, about the personality. So actually, if we have to say the movements, okay, because it makes sense. The thing is self-confidence. <laughs> generally, when she speaks, she said before it's load of fun. Generally, with me, she always speaks like that. That's fine, it's okay. Please. Anyway, oh my God. Um, it's about self-confidence. Self-confidence, you know, if you have to be aware of what you do. You have to be in charge of your body. You know, you have to be aware of what you do and what you create and understand what you're doing fully, 100%. So this is the most important thing. And somehow, even the position that you have in the body creates the look of self-confidence. The projection forward of yourself or clothes, it makes really a big difference. So if I stay like this, or I open up, it gives a little bit of feeling of self-confidence. Even if maybe you don't know if I had a bad day, if you just fight, actually, no. no. <laughs> Strange enough. <laughs> no. Or I, I feel scared to do this lecture. You don't know. So this is the look or the image that you want to create. So if, just to give you some example, we show you a few different how to take position. Okay. So let's, let's go with that. So you can see completely fully the difference from one to the other. We do the same thing. Technically, we do. Basically, we walk, we take position, and then I explain. So example, if you just imagine that you are in a fabulous competition, 
It's your dream competition. You are right there. You take your partner, you have control. Okay. Music start. Well, we did what we had to do. Well, basically, we did what we had to do. I mean, if you think easily. Technically, I mean, if we analyze it. We take a place on the floor, we take a place on the floor, we take connection in our body. Done. So, in a way, the, the second minimum job is done. But for sure, we don't feel it. We are not, they say, we are not present in this moment. We just do what we have to do because we are in the competition. And for sure, if we don't feel, for sure, on outside, they will not feel it. It's a different way if we are like that. Imagine that, because behind your work, there's a lot of studio. When I work a lot for I inspire this competition. So once the music starts, Start in my dream to dance. So, all myself, all Monica, all Valeria Monica, we have to put on the floor. So, once I call Monica with my body language, because I can't say to Monica, come on, Monica, give me the hands, give me the body. With my body language, I need to invite my partner, and my partner is working together with me. So, there is already, I don't know if you can feel it from the part, it's already the sensation of the body. This area is projecting my body to the back, and this area of one where she goes where she goes more, is projecting all this body to me. So somehow we go in, in uh, to make a unique person, to make a unique personality in the moment that we call it. Now technically the position in the end is looks the same, but the work to arrive to this is completely different. So, practically, you choose. Even the look is how you take the hands, how you connect with each other body, how you look at each other, it makes a huge difference. For example, if we do it for tango, there are two different, many different ways of doing it. So, if you walk a bit on the start of tango, so there is a way of aggressive, but not soft, but still. You have to create this energy. <coughs> yeah? So there's a thing. It is a choice. It's not always it's tango, so it's aggressive. Boom. Aya! <laughs> so it's really you can play with that. You can play with that all the time. Should not be all the same. When it's all the same, it's fake. And the result seems it's boring. So people start not to be connected, start to be distracted because if everything is strong, they say, okay, a little bit of, let me breathe. If everything is too soft, they say, oh my God, can I have a little bit of energy? So you have to play with that to create uh, interest and intention to make people look at you, to draw people into your couple, into your dancing. So of course, when we talk about that presentation in the beginning, how you enter and also how you finish the dance in the It's not that we finish dance. Bye, let's go. And then, <laughs> and then we run. It's not like that. You are on stage from the beginning to the end. So don't forget about this. Personalities <coughs> are everywhere all the time. This is the thing. So as about, same thing, we're gonna be fast with that. You choose a I choose. Yes. Can I choose? So the thing is, he chose. Also, the choice of the man give a reaction of which kind of feeling he gave me, which kind of speech he gave me, how do I want to react, but there is a reaction to create.
create proper personality, not just a personal one. It's a combination of the two, so that's why it becomes special. That's why we created the magic in dance. Okay? If you want to say a little bit more in shows, when we do a show, everything is amplified. So you can do a little bit more <laughs> drama feeling, drama things, and all these kind of <laughs> things. <laughs> but still, too much becomes fake. Because if you want to put a little bit, mm, it's not about showing something that you never feel. You have to show something that you felt already. So has, you have to believe the feeling you create. If not, it will be not felt from the other. Yeah? Then, well said. Thank you. Then, of course, this is the emotional part. Then, of course, when we're gonna analyze, when we start to talk and analyze that, we say, yeah, but I felt that personality can be also shown in a different way. So when we talk about that, we have a natural one, then we have the emotional one, then we have the technical and musical one. So the musical expression, the technical expression, it makes also achieve the same goal how to create your own personality. So yeah, you know you can express also a personality about what about Monica say about musicality. Maybe you even don't think about personality, but if you use it uh, in a correct structure, in a correct way, the music, maybe, maybe 99.9% .9 for sure, you will look even with more personality. But now, I don't want to be technical today in this lecture, but everything is combined. We don't have to think that the technical and uh, emotional are two completely different. Because anyway, in the end, everything, to be combined. Uh, I, most of the time, I personally feel also that uh, the personality is developed from uh, the confidence of knowing uh, of, uh, your, of my technique, that never will put me down. Is, uh, in my opinion, personality is not just uh, the big face with a big smile, or oh, I have to show all my mouth with 36 teeth that they have. No, this is not a a personality, no. Uh, a personality that it, come from being able to perform without fear. And uh, behind this, uh, there is uh, a lot of work that we have to do. It's not just, okay, I wake up this morning, I have a personality, I go to dance my family in black, will I go dance good? No, I have to create, I have to work day by day, uh, my personality, that again, I don't have to think that is completely different of technique. Example, Monica, before we do just the first step of take position, okay? Now, imagine uh, again, now I will put the music, I will show something with music. What I say you before, I wore, when I was younger, I were impressed, I was impressed from the couple that entered the floor, and already from that moment, uh, I can see the champion, or I can see the good couple. In my opinion, and in our opinion, I, we are more interested to see an easy thing that do it in a perfect way, or nearly the perfect way, than do a crazy stuff in a good way also so. You know, we are Italian, so most of the time we compare everything with food. Especially me. Every, every, everything is good. Now, in Italy, we say that uh, the good chef, the Michelin chef, is not that the chef they put in one plate, in one plate of pasta, one dish of pasta, a thousand ingredients inside. The good chef is uh, the chef that makes pasta with tomato, so only two ingredients, in the best way possible. Because in the simplicity, of the thing, you will feel everything. You will feel the character of the chef, you will feel the work of the chef. Because to do the simple step, it's very difficult. It's not easy. For sure, it's more easy if I start, okay, hands, hands, legs, legs, ta-ta-ta-ta, boom, ta, 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 
this is can be very effective. Yeah, but but for my point of view, for our point of view, we can't see really the deepness of the work, the deepness of the study of the couple, the personality. I, I, we, and this is, uh, we have to say thanks to our teacher that uh, they educated us. We always, and I always was interested to see just a few things in the, in the book couple. I always was interested to see how they take position, not because I want to see if the answer is correct or not, because in the way that they take position, they start to create a couple. And now with music, I will show you what I mean. And I always have interested to see how they do the natural turn and how they do a further step. And if you realize, this is the two step they, they teach you probably the second or third lesson in a, in a group class. So for our point of view, the champion, therefore the personality of the champion, you will recognize immediately how they close the feet in a lateral turn on how they can swing in a further step. Of course, I remember, I, I remember many champions of the past. I don't want to say the name because there is many good. Well, I, I was impressed how they can do a further step on a turn, or how they can do, for example, a promenade. If I want to dance in a promenade and I have to be able to dance here, five or six or seven full bar of music, that's for our point of view. In this moment, uh, you show the real personality of the couple. You show the the study of the couple. It's not just uh, take position. Okay. Let's go in promenade and we move it. Of course, this is, you need time to understand. I, I need to feel the leg, I need to feel the body, the coordination together. But for sure, if I want to get to the problem, and I will try to stay here, five or six, five. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Probably is not as effective like the first one, or if I do a faster step. But the highlight is here. Because in this moment, everybody is like that, everybody's looking. Because they feel you, they feel you the study, they feel you the army, they feel with you, they feel the pressure. What, what, if, what we feel now, if we do the problem, I feel my body weight is going down, I feel her body weight is going down. Now, if we go up to the toe, we feel connection in the leg, we feel the rotation in the body, I feel the spine that is not like with the head of my head on top, I'm turning the, the head of the lady, now we move it. So that one can be musical, it's technical, but it's also emotional. So what did Monica say together, what Monica said before? Everything is combined in one piece. It's not separate. It's not separate. Honestly, uh, I saw some of my teachers there. I'm a very technical person. I mean, I'm a very practical person. I'm the that, I'm the that, I'm the that. Monica is a little bit more... Emotional. Emotional. <laughs> okay. But so, it, sorry, but it doesn't mean that he's not emotional or I'm not technical. There is something that it's a little bit more that comes out a little bit more if we have to compare. So it's not that he is just technical, I'm just emotional. We both learn both. Yeah. But there is something that comes out a little bit more. So he is more technical orientated, so he needs how can I create that? Okay, what I have to do, speed, timing, or, or anything in explanation. For me, it's just give me an image, a color, or <laughs> let me think about a movie, a song, I can recreate that. So that's the difference. And uh, we understand what she's saying. We understand uh, like that uh, all the personalities come together. Because, well, I don't have to say, but it doesn't matter, I say. In, in one of our practice, 
we are a little bit uh, not fighting, not, not fighting, but we discuss about one particular step. You know, we discuss in more than one hour, in only one step. I want to go here from this way. She wants to go here from that way. So we discuss. I speak on top of her. She speak on top of me. In the end of, of one hour, plus the one hour, so we recognize that what we say is exactly the same. What we want to do was exactly the same. But we arrive in a different way. So in that moment, you know when somebody switch on the light, it's open something? In that moment, you understand that the, the technical thinking, let's say technical thinking, the technical personality, or the, uh, let's say, more natural sense, your natural personality. In the end, when you enter the pro and you need to compete, it's exactly the same. Because you need to be able to show the couple personality. So it's exactly the same. Now, if you take a second and just put the music again. Yes. <laughs> so the thing is, it doesn't really, it should not be a judgment on that. Because it's really subjective. So it's not my way is right and uh, in this case, we're talking about me and Valerio, but it's like, it's not lady, lady side is right and man is wrong, or <coughs> man is right and man is wrong. It's just a different way to produce the same thing. So it's just different approach. So we have to understand that because it has to be productive. We, we are not here to uh, discuss something that we can change. Somehow the feeling we feel, or the feeling that we want to create, are really changeable. If I feel the romantic in this way, if you want something different, explain to me in different ways to arrive at that goal. This is what actually we are talking about. Okay. I hope that you can hear the music. sounds very easy, but uh, if you're thinking about this, I mean, for me, these two words is changing. Now, if you go like it, Monica, and we take position, we combine, let's say, the emotional part, the technical part, the physical part. What is different if uh, my body, what is different if my body, Thank you. 
what did she say to God? She said she was sent to us. Yeah, she was speak with me, honestly. <laughs> but anyway, she was, she was doing in this life, in that class, in my head, so she's in the room. By the way, uh, she said, he said, Remember, but I used to think. For the first one, you can show more yourself when you stand still instead of moving. I was a little bit, not shocked, but I was a little bit confused because ballroom is moving. It's moving with music. So I'm trying to create more swing than possible, more action than possible to move. And uh, he said to me, imagine if you do as a well, you start in black room and you're dancing a natural turn when you speak on side block. Okay? Yeah, it's true, you can move maybe 12 feet up. How long did you stay if you move from there to there? In three feet up, you move 12 feet up, you move in a four second and a half. Yeah, right? If you stay, and it's difficult, if you stay as a in an over curtain, into the corner, or if you stay in a in a throwaway, or if you stay in a right lunch, or you go to jack, or in plumber, like I said before. And if you stand still for six feet, for six bars, sorry, that for sure is more difficult, but it's more value. And even uh, just for easy, if I stay on the corner, as I imagine if we are in Blackpool, we stay on the corner. And uh, we are able to perform and make uh, our over for day, to make our program for six school bar. In that moment, uh, you created even more magic area, what we say in the beginning. That one uh, is the real uh, is the real moment when they exit uh, the personality. Yeah, we put it in the game. And the uh, second thinking is remember that go faster. Is much more easy than go slowly. And he said also this, this phrase, and I never will forget in my life. It's much better try to stop one horse that is run, that is not push one horse that he don't want. So this means that uh, even if you buy new style, for example, if you want to do a flow, okay, you can. This way, yeah. So if I let you go, that's a good problem. If I let one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Technically, it's fine. But somehow, especially during uh, the performance, somehow it feels that uh, we run into the music. Or we are not, uh, she always said to me, I don't have time enough to finish the line. Or, yeah, can I stay a little bit more because I want to stop the more to stretch more? Okay. So this is difficult technically, but let's say I think that the, I, I think that the drawing tells me. Now I want to change my, my image. I want to think that the, I, that's the problem. Of course, I have the phys physical also for uh, spend the energy, but at this moment, uh, exit more the personality of the car. So if I want to dance, you can see that there. If I want to dance, the car, the one that's standing on the box, I want to go to dance. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Now, I see that uh, behind the screen there is many fabulous teacher and there is a very experienced judge. I'm sure that uh, they appreciated more this than the first one. And also when you're dancing, you arrive at a certain stage that you enjoy to do this instead of the, the first one. Because somehow we felt that uh, me, Monica, and the music, uh, it's become one unit. And in this moment, uh, 
we have more time to show what we really <coughs> are and what we really we want to do. I will put the music again. So as you can see, even the speed of the action can create a different look, different image, different energy. So you have to have the intention and understanding <coughs> Master your body, your choreography, understanding of the action that you have to do to create that look. There are different ways of doing it. Now we show you just the slow, everything in slow motion. There are different ways that we're going to show you now, so you can see the difference. see us in a good way from that. By the way, I think that the first throw with that we did, if you are, for example, competition awards, and there is a 300 couple, you can see this throwing 300 times. So it's nothing special. It's a good throwing, but it's not they make you extra positive. Because, because it's just a technical, technical execution. There is nothing extra. And even you don't have time to show what really you want to do. Because now, as we said before, we feel that the music is run of us. We are not in control of the music. The second one, of course, is more... Uh, is, you take more risk to do this figure. Because uh, you have to be more deeper, you have to feel more in gravity, you feel all your muscles that are stretching more, that you're turning, that you're swinging up more, sway, shake, everything. It's taking more, take more risk. The third one can be also with more risk because when you enter faster in a step and not you want to it slowly, you have to feel again everything in a different way. I will put again the music. So, the thing is, somehow, you have to create different dynamic in one step. What makes the... What is remarkable is the awareness that you have in every single moment. Of course, your brain has to work very fast. But somehow, if you practice this, it becomes more natural, more easy in a way, even if it's not easy, real personality is not easy, it's not easy understanding of a precise technical step, it's not many things, but with the practice of it, everything, it become a little bit easier, um, day by day become easier. So this is the difference of it. So we're going to show you with music all the time. Thank you. 
So how we said before, the, our intention is that to show the best that we can, the perfectly is done exist. So we have to show the best that we can with our knowledge, with our story, with our personality, an easy step in a best way that possible. That uh, is uh, our, uh, how do you say, our kind of personality. Let's go. You know, as an artist, we always say you have to get as much as, as close as possible to perfection, but you know that you're never going to achieve it. So that's what it makes you grow as a dancer, always. That's what we always say. We speak with many people that are not just dancers, but we never really feel perfect. We feel that we're getting closer there, but we never really achieve that moment. And if we achieve it, it's just a feeling that we have of perfect combination of many things. So this world, never feel that you understand everything because you can discover many things. You can discover many ways. You can discover many timing, many, many technical details that makes the difference, actions in your body that you would never even understand if you wouldn't try. So there are many things that you can explore you know, we always say, try, try new things, try new ways, try new uh, impact inputs, when to speed up, when to slow down, when to stop, how to create emotion, discover right. inside sure yourself, is. exactly. Because this makes you grow as a dancer, as an artist, and as a person. And uh, what she say now, basically, we have to do in each five dancing, if I speak about world, but also Latin it is the same. Uh, you know, as a competitor, when we, we are lucky to travel with uh, all of our friends, ballroom in Latin and around the world, and when we are in, uh, together in changing room, we speak, obviously we speak about, we speak about dancing, and uh, I always see that uh, the great dancer, that the big champion, Everything, everybody that they are kind of level of dancing, they never try to warm up before the competition. You're like, hey, so without, 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 we all involved. Okay, let's go with, hey, hey. So I saw that uh, all ballroom and all Latin, they always try to warm up in the face. I remember uh, two days ago, we were in Tokyo. And there was two, two years ago. Three years ago. Sorry, two years ago. Was that two days ago? Anyway, two years ago, there was an competition in Tokyo, and there was a great champion of Latin. And they stay, believe me, they stay for 40 minutes in front of each other only to do a basic step of boom. Only basic step. They want to feel everything. Say, so, wow. So they are like checking up really here and they're still working on this. And the ballroom couple, the big champion of ballroom couple, I always say that they are in connection and trying to do you know, just a natural chair, okay, change of direction to, uh, you can know, see, a natural chair again. So they always, they want to perfection, they want to try to arrive to the perfection with the full of knowledge and full of personality in the basic step. And that reminds me, and still educated me. And I hope that uh, in the future, the next generation still look forward, still look uh, what was, and not just look uh, 20 and four. Uh, the same thinking we can do example in time. Uh, we have a step. 
that was in our beginning of Dhamma. That uh, I don't know, honestly, I don't know why it's really in the, in the head of many people. Because the feedback that we have uh, after that step was amazing. After the talk. And I'm going to say this is short. I'm going to be fast. And that's it comes out the personality of the two of us. First, let's put the dance together. Valeria comes out saying to me, okay, Monica, we are doing it. This step, this step, this step. The time is one, two, three, four, 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 I just say, okay, just show me a little bit how it should be. Uh, okay, emotionally, I was like, okay, should be something like that. I feel like that. I do like that. The action that he gave it to me was the timing, he said. He had the reaction, it was a feeling what I felt from him. So this is the two kind of. <laughs> and this step, honestly, was, no, was, is very easy. Because if I have the step, I have kind of backward direction. Now it is like a backward in the class. I have like a backward direction, like it's a back check, and then it's in a long step. So it's very basic step. Back check, now it's in a long step. Ending in five steps. So I don't know how we do it this step. I don't know how I invented this step, honestly. I just felt that in that moment, because to make the first rounding, the to make the first level together, we worked a lot that year. I mean, we have to do several rounds, each 20 minutes, two minutes uh, each music. It wasn't very easy. So we really practicing a lot. We went to the gym, everything was in a perfect condition. So when I landed on the floor, I was very confident with myself and uh, I also where well, I believe 110% more than that day. That day, uh, only that day, that was not true. <laughs> when I went back there, I said to Monica, okay, let's do this one. I'm sure it's become immediately, and I need to try a step. Let's just go from the first round. And when we actually from the tunnel, even before the dancing the quick step, many people come to us, oh, let's have to stop those, what do you do now, what do you do before? Well, honestly, it's just a basic, Step. And that one was in that day my, my our let's say success step. But not because we have the feedback, of course, also because we have the feedback, but because our goal went down in that day. Because we do a basic step in the best way that possible. You create the story on it. It depends how you want to say. You create, it doesn't matter how. I always repeat, I will repeat it forever. It doesn't matter how, <coughs> but you have to create the magic in the spec of what it is. Yeah. We can show you that. You want to do it down? With me. Oh, okay, just a second for the music. <laughs> so you can see, no, we can do two versions. So you can see the difference of which kind of image you want to give in, in certain figure, in basic figure, in this case in our step. So you have, you can have a soft feeling, then a strong feeling, the combination of both, it gives always a different look, different interpretation, different image. Also in you can create different emotion. So you can see clearly, okay, Clearly the difference, so we're going to show Thank you. 
So now, details make the difference. Sharp, look, head, open slowly, open sharp again. This is a choice. Always a choice that makes a difference. You have to remember, details makes difference. Bravo. I have to write a book. I should, I should. <laughs> Good, not bad. So I, I don't know if I have to wait me for something. I think we we done. Yeah. Well, I think but yeah. Anyway, if we have to make a summit of everything, what makes a difference in ballroom dancing is how you produce or how you execute every step. Technically, you have to master every technical aspect. Then you have the personality that you have to put on the top of all the technique that you create because many people can dance technically good. How you create that is a different story. The personality that you have to put on it, you can create it in different ways. You have to be able to express yourself on the floor not just show that you can dance. The, the really goal is when you express, in our case, the couple of ballroom or couple of Latin or whatever, is when you express uh, the couple, the best of the couple on the floor. On the floor. So we, thanks very much again to the WBC for inviting us today. It was really a good lecture, I, I hope for you, but we, we had a lot of fun in this lecture, we, destroyed, we even we learned a lot from, from this lecture. Because actually it's in your mind many question marks that you really before, you never really ask yourself sometimes certain questions, going too deep in on such a conversation and such a subject. It is some kind of abstract, so it's not really tangible, so it's a little bit like, what we're talking about? <coughs> and it's very personal also. It's quite interesting. So it's, I think, and I hope, it, it, works uh, yeah, it works for you, helps you to understand a little bit how to uh, put yourself out. Don't be shy, don't be always, ooh, but if I do like that, technically will be wrong. Find a way to make it technically right with your expression. There is always a way. Of course, you cannot be personal interpretation and technically you just forget about everything. It's not that. It's not that. It's just serious. The, the technical is like a bicycle. When you learn to go, you will never forget. And then you can ride the bicycle however you want. So this is the thing. It's, there are plenty of ways. Search, discover yourself, get inspired from many things. Search for things that you like. Try, you, get, you understand it what you like and what you don't like, what you're capable of doing and what you're not capable of doing. It's up to you choosing, trying to do it anyway or just let it go. It's up to you. Fantastic, guys. Well, uh -huh. Come fatto. Uh -huh. Huh? Si può salutare la fila così? Yeah, fine. Right. You know, not yet finished. Come on, you're still online. Go ahead. Ah, so Go ahead. I saw you it was already oh, finished. The moment you start talking, it changes. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. So, thank you very much to all of you to be participating with, uh, with us in this, uh, in this lecture. We really hope that we can see each other very soon yes. in the nearly future. We miss you all and we hope to get a little bit of the we miss you guys as well. possible. And we're going to read all the messages now because we were too focused on doing the lecture. So we're going to, we're going to read it. Promise. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye bye to all of you. Thank you, Valerio. Thank you, Monica. I knew you would be the perfect couple to talk about this subject. As because many couples out there, not just in ballroom, also in Latin, they look a little bit the same to, as you said, busy doing maybe the right technique, um, learn, uh, executing what they've learned and forgetting about themselves a little bit. So it's important that you go out there and when you're performing, you're performing. You're not, you know, executing what your teacher told you that you have to 
I guess, practice it and it will be, as Valerio said, once you learn it, it's there for you to use. So that was amazing, guys. Thank you ever so much to be with us on this Tuesday. Thank you for inviting us. Thank Almost you so much. Time. It was a pleasure. Thank you, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. remember next week, same time, same place, for another amazing lecture. Thank you and have a great week. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.